Good evening, folks. This is Deb Delapiana, and tonight we've got a sad state of the GOP. And we're talking about the state of Colorado, and specifically the 4th Congressional District, because tonight I'd like to spend a little time introducing you to the other Republicans who are running in the primary against Lauren Boebert. Now, I've already done her to death, okay? So we're going to skip over her. I just did one the other night. And I I'm going to talk to you about some of these other candidates and some of their qualifications. I think it's safe to say, however, that it isn't just in Colorado, but the bar for character for elected people running for elected office is so low right now that they don't even have to slither under it anymore. They can just walk right the fuck over it, okay? So we're going to start with Mike Lynch. So he is um, the Republican leader of the state's House of Representatives. So he's moving, wants to move from the state level to the federal level by running against Boebert. He was arrested for drunk driving in September of 2022. He did not reveal any of this before he ran for office or was elected to his leadership position. He pleaded, of course, guilty to driving while impaired, which is a lesser charge, and received 18 months probation. It's a lot of shit here, so I've got notes. So after it was found out, it came to light in 2024. He stepped down from his leadership position, but the story behind this whole event is that he got out of the car while still carrying a gun. Now, this was reported in the, the Denver Post. The arrest report says that the officer who stopped him asked him about a knife he had in his pocket. His response was, I have a gun in this pocket too. I mean, these are people running to serve the people of the United States of America. What the fuck, people? Do we, are we so immune to all of this Republican criminality that none of this matters anymore? He's just number one. There's more. Richard Holtorf, okay, another Republican. In 2021, he referred to a colleague as buckwheat. And then he claimed now everybody knows Buckwheat, right? The little, the little dude who was one of the kids who was the mischief maker in the Little Rascals movies. Okay, that's who he's talking about. He Holtorf said he meant the term endearing as an endearing in an endearing fashion. Really? Well, let's go on to where Holtorf talks about um. Middle Eastern people during a debate in January of this year, he stated, and I'm quoting, for all of those fighting age, Middle Eastern males who have come to this country, they need to be immediately deported back to the Middle East, those terrorist countries, full stop. Okay, and Rather than walking that back, he actually included that in a video montage of his debate performance. In 2022, he voted in favor of a resolution supporting a debunked conspiracy theory involving the 2020 election. The resolution named Denver-based Dominion Voting Systems and said its voting systems, quote, are built in China using Chinese labor and, quote, are not secure in any national security sense of the word. I, I I can't even. He's been arrested twice, by the way. A, a lot of these people who are running in her district are, have been arrested, including her. He's been arrested twice for fighting. 
quote, because somebody needed a little attitude adjustment. I told my dad both times that I was winning until the cops showed up. Here's a great choice. Trent Lisey, who has a Donald Trump fetish, quote, the worst attack on American soil happened via voting machines on November 3rd, 2020, he posted. Ignoring, of course, things like, oh, I don't know, Pearl Harbor, or maybe, I don't know, the January 6, 2021 insurrection where five people were fucking killed. You can't make this shit up. And actually, guess what? With today's Republican Party, you don't have to make anything up. He has been shown on Facebook next to Trump while wearing a T-shirt with Trump's image on it saying, the sexiest man alive. You've got to be kidding me. Quote, I not only endorse President Trump, but love him as well. He also posted last November that if he's elected to Congress, he would, quote, introduce legislation to financially compensate each of the families of the J6 prisoners harmed by the police state, end quote. And while running for a school board position in 2021, the Greeley Tribune reported that Lisey pleaded guilty to harassment in 2017 after being charged with a misdemeanor count of knowingly and recklessly causing bodily injury against a child. He was sentenced to six months of unsupervised probation. Peter Yu, he's another Republican. The only thing we have on him is that during his U.S. Senate campaign in 2021, he referred to the Stop Asian Hate Movement as the racism thing. It's a lie. It's not a lie. He's another self-loathing uh, human being. You know, someone willing to send, sell out his own people, like, you know, Candace Owen or, you know, any of the other Republican, Black Republicans who back Donald Trump, quite frankly. Floyd Trujillo, drill doggy drill. He is a veteran of the oil and gas industry, and he writes books about the virtue and importance of fossil fuels to educate children. The ABCs of Fossil Fuels is a book that he wrote introducing children to a dog named Dexter, who, quote, shows us the benefits of oil and gas and how different life would be without them. Quote, I'm sickened by the Biden administration's war on energy, he says on his campaign website. I was proud to serve as President Trump's Hispanic co-chair in Colorado and will provide the reinforcements he needs in Washington on day one. And then finally, Deborah Flora, a filmmaker, syndicated radio host and activist. She founded Parents United America. And she, you know, considers some events as grave threats to parental authority, okay? Flora opposes teachers unions and is an advocate for tax money going to private schools. She has said, quote, we are at a crossroads between Marxism and freedom. We are at a crossroads, but we are at a crossroads between democracy and authoritarian rule GOP style. None of these people are about freedom. She's full of shit when she talks about parental freedom. The GOP has taken away parents' freedom. And I'm not going to go into that now because I don't have enough time, but I will eventually get to that. The next video I make, we're going to continue down this path because Colorado is at the only street, the only state, by the way, that has people like this running. And they are Republicans. And we will be talking about that. Until then... You guys have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow.